everybody, it's Elaine from Peace Love Scrap and I am actually doing my very first process video. So bear with me, um, this is all new to me as well as filming while I'm scrapbooking so a few times you'll see that I'm out of camera or whatever so sorry about that but I would love to hear your feedback and see if you'd be interested in more process videos. Um, here I am starting out with some milk paint from Recollections and it's this light pink powder and to be honest with you when I mixed it the first time uh, I didn't really know what the consistency was supposed to be and I really just wanted a light pink white or wash like a white uh, a light pink wash over the 12 by 12 paper that I have sitting there on my desk that 12 by 12 paper is from the Maggie Holmes collection and I love it but I wanted to just um, you know cover it with the paint to give it just a light pink look. Um, so I'm, I'm brushing it on now and you can even just tell by the sheen on the paper. It, it is like really saturates the paper. So when I go to rip off the um, manufacturing tab at the top, I rip the paper and um, you'll see that here in a second. I don't, I'm just still mixing more paint. And like I said, I was hard. I didn't know there's no directions on the bottle, so I didn't know how much water to add, and um, I think I made it a little too thin. So here I am, I'm ripping off the tab, and I rip it, so I crumble it all up, and I start all over, because <laughs> I had two sheets. So first I take the strip off before I start all over again, and I make the mixture a little bit thicker this time, and as you can see, it's not nearly as saturated on the paper so but it did give it a really pretty light pink wash over the top of it which is exactly the look that I was going for so I was glad that worked out and then uh, I use my heat embosser to dry it a little bit and so of course it's going to warp the paper a little so um, I end up backing it on another 12 by 12 sheet of paper I think I use craft paper and now, I was just using my regular adhesive, but now I have score tape, and I think that will actually work better in keeping the paper nice and firm when I adhere it to another sheet. And I'm just cutting off the edge because not everything's always true 12 by 12. So I do that real quick. And then that's just um, an Instagram photo of my daughter and I at our cottage. Um, we love to take <laughs> what we call double selfies. So you'll see later that this is the title of this layout page. Um, we call them our double selfies. And then um, this is more paper from the Maggie Holmes collection. And I know I was off camera there, but uh, I wanted the papers not to be perfectly straight, so I just hand cut the backgrounds with my scissors myself. And that um, photo overlay there with the gold is one of my most favorite overlays, uh, and that was Maggie Holmes as well. I believe most of this stuff is from her collection. So like I said, um, <laughs> this is my first process video and I can tend to be a very uh, long scrapbooker, so I was doing things completely backwards from how I normally do them because I was trying to do them quickly. So, And then that um, wood veneer there with those butterflies are from the Scraptastic kit and I love those butterflies and I was trying everything to get them to fit in to my layout and I just couldn't get it to to look the way I wanted to, so I ended up not using them, but I did try. <laughs> so here I'm just fiddling around with it for a little bit because, I don't know, I really wanted to use, the, use that um, transparency as a little bit of a layering technique. And then I cut the, obviously cut the other one in half so I could use it up at the top. I love my tiny attacher. I cannot practically scrapbook without it. The only problem is I wish I knew how I could open it so that I could uh, staple in the middle of my pages with it. If anyone knows how to open that thing so that it lays flat, if that makes sense, please please comment below because I really want to try and figure out how to open that thing. <laughs> and then uh, I just stapled my layers together so that I knew where they wanted them. And then I remembered that I wanted to outline my papers, and so they're, here they are all attached together. So I'm outlining around them, but whatever, it works. And um, 
I uh, just quickly outline through these. I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to outlining. I actually like it when it looks kind of kind of wonky, so so I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I didn't like the way it looked. <laughs> so I'm redoing it. That must that must that must be a lot better. <laughs> so let's see. I know I'm not talking very much. I kind of feel awkward. I don't know what to do or what to say. <laughs> but it's okay. If I do more of these, I'm sure I'll get better. <laughs> so here I'm outlining up here as well because I wanted to match the cluster in the middle and I again just am outlining kind of backwards I usually do that before I adhere anything but I was going kind of fast so and that adhesive I get it at this um, scrapbooking convention every year that they have by my house during around Mother's Day weekend and it's a dollar for one thing of adhesive and I always buy I think I usually buy, I know this is going to sound crazy, I usually buy like 50 or $60 worth. So I have 50 or 60 of them throughout the year. And they usually last me for the whole year. So, And it lasts me because that's not the only adhesive I use. I use different kinds of glues and hot glue gun and all that good stuff. So, And before that, you saw me cutting out of a 12 by 12 cut, a sharp, cut apart sheet that was from Mackie Holmes, as well as this flare. So now I'm just kind of layering, see where I want pieces. I, I, I'm not 100% uh, a fan of my own layering. I'm trying to do better at that. <laughs> and here I'm just popping these up on the foam stickers to give it a little bit of a dimension. And then I write the date in here and I totally don't like my handwriting, but I kind of been trying to incorporate that more into my pages lately. So. So you get you get what you get, I guess. So I'm just outlining little pieces here that I see and then the extra pieces I added on there. And I am just in love with every single collection by Maggie Holmes. I seriously there has not been one that I haven't loved. And I mean yet they are all very similar to one another, but there's just something about them that I absolutely love. So here's my big box of sequins, and I picked out, I believe it's like a salmon color and a mint. Either salmon and mint or salmon and a clear sequence. I can't really tell anymore, and I don't have the page sitting in front of me. But, um, so, <laughs> it's funny with sequins. It's like, I kind of wanted to scatter them so they don't look perfect, yet at the same time, I want them looking perfect. So, <laughs> so whatever. I just kind of placed them until I found the way that I like them looking. And here I'm just using the, um crystal that lit oh gosh what is that stuff called it's like your 3d glue um that's great for holding on embellishments and stuff so i am just using that to adhere that and i love sequins i love them i don't know why i don't know you know it's funny because i've been scrapbooking for since i was 18 and i'm 36 now so i've been scrapbooking for almost 20 years and when sequins came out i guess and became kind of a popular item on a scrapbook page I thought seriously why haven't been to, why haven't I been doing this since I was 18 I love sequins I mean well just something fun it gives it a little bit of shimmer and so here I'm I opened up my date stamp I was gonna put a few words down there um, like documented or whatever and then I thought well that's kind of silly because it's competing with the background paper and the background paper already says I love you I love you I love you all over it so I thought oh. You probably wouldn't see it if I stamped there. So, and now I'm pulling out some um, shapes from the Heidi, one of the Heidi Swap collections, and I found these butterflies, and I thought that these worked better than the wood veneer. So I just end up tucking those in between, beside the picture there, and I liked how that looked right away. So I was like, "Bam, let's add it." <laughs> uh, apparently, I got glue on there. Looking back now, I, I, I should have probably put some of the wings of the butterflies on some 3D foams. That would have been kind of pretty just to see them lifting off the page a little bit, but that's okay. 
So now I'm just checking it out. I'm going to outline uh, the whole paper. And I, I learned that technique from another YouTuber, Mercy Tierra. I'm sure that if you guys are uh, familiar with YouTube process videos, you know all about her. She is just a phenomenal scrapbooker, and I love the pages she does. And so she taught me to outline on my pages. So thank you, Tracy. I love your pages. And you're a great inspiration. So hopefully if I do process videos, I can maybe become an inspiration to some of you guys. So... Oh, look what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm totally adhering the butterfly wings on 3D foam. Isn't that funny, you guys? I said that it would look good like that. See, I don't remember because I made this process video forever ago, but I'm just now doing the voiceover because I didn't have the right um, computer program. But I got it for Christmas from my awesome husband, and he totally hooked me up. So. <laughs> So I'm finally able to do the voiceover. So it's been a while since I've done this page and I couldn't remember exactly what I did. So now I'm probably, oh yeah, I'm checking out what kind of um, letters I want to use for my title, which is double selfie. And I tried the white ghost shape letters from Heidi Swap, but I didn't think you'd be able to see them. And they were really white and this is more of a cream pinky color page. So. Um, I went and decided to use these gold thickers by, I believe they're American Crafts, and I absolutely am in love with these thickers. I think they're beautiful. I don't know, you can't really tell, especially now because I'm out of frame, but um, they have like just this gorgeous like gold shimmer to them. They have glitter on them, but it's not the kind of glitter that's going to fall off and get all over the place. I don't know. I love the font. <laughs> So yes, I guess it's safe to say that I love these thickers. And I just am putting it on uh, wax paper so that I know exactly where on this page I want to put them. And that's another trick I learned um, from Mercy Tierra. <laughs> that's what I love about process videos. I mean, we can share such a wealth of information with one another and share all of our tips and tricks and techniques and I just I love watching process videos so much and I know that it is such a commitment and a time commitment so I just wanted to be able to start making them as well so that I could add to the contribution of such great work out there <laughs> so we'll see you know I don't know my work isn't uh, a work of art I guess but I like it so <laughs> Hopefully you guys will too. So now I'm just sticking these down there where I want them and they had, sometimes I usually have to, sometimes I have to glue them down. This time I don't believe I did because they were pretty, they were pretty sticky already. So probably in a couple months I'll see them laying around somewhere and I'll have to glue them down. But so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this page and how it turned out. and. For being my first video, I really had no idea where this page was going. I just picked a few items that I thought I wanted to put together, and <laughs> that was it. So now I'm just covering up my middle piece, my cluster there, so that I can use my Mr. Huey's. And that is the white. So I'm just doing a little splatter. And there you have it. The page is finished, and that, my friends, concludes my first process video. So thank you so much for watching, you guys, and have a good night. Bye.